Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make money on Fiverr and in particular, our 7 tips to make more sales. Alright, so before I get started on everything, I want to show you the back end of our Fiverr account. Um, this is our dashboard right here. This is like the revenues page. I want to show you that we actually know what we're talking about because we've made sales on Fiverr. So as you can see here, currently we've made $4,760 and if you know Fiverr, the minimum gig is $5. So when Fiverr takes their cut, you minimum take $4. So as you can see, that number, almost 5,000, uh, which we'll probably reach soon, is a lot of gigs. And you'll see here, available for withdrawal is 2,169, and up at the top here, you'll see it's much higher. That 2,169, that's actually US dollars. We're in Canada, so it converts to 2,000. 859 so we really like getting paid in US dollars and though these totals right here don't include the pending clearance and the active orders these are currently what is happening right now like current gigs that we have to fulfill and if I scroll down here you'll see that there are a bunch of gigs where we make more than four dollars actually a lot of the times and w when i say four dollars i mean five dollars because fiverr takes their 20 percent cut so whenever you see four dollars or eight dollars that's really like a five dollar and a ten dollar sale but they just took their cut so you can see here there's like 40 12 36 20 20 60 80 108 um, and the list goes on and the reason we're able to do this amount of money on Fiverr is from the seven tips that I'm going to share with you guys. All right, so tip number one, and this is actually the most important tip, is to create gigs that you actually will enjoy doing, that you'll actually enjoy completing. Now, the reason why I don't say to go and create whatever gigs, even if you don't like it, even if you're not good at it, and just make a bunch of money that way, is because that's not gonna last long term. That's gonna last for a very short time and then you're gonna get sick of it and then you're gonna give up on Fiverr and you're, gonna, you're not gonna wanna do it anymore. If you want a long Fiverr career that you actually enjoy and that you have fun and that you like doing, then you need to create gigs that are gonna make you happy to complete. So I'll give you an example. We have a couple of happy birthday Fiverr gigs. My business partner, Arit, she is a singer. So we put our, our talents together. So she sings, I film her, and I edit the video, and then I like put it all together, add whatever, you know, their name and the picture and everything like that. I'll have a link in the description to the examples of the happy birthday videos that we do. But basically she sings, I film and edit it, and then, you know, we deliver that. And the basic gig is $5. Now, if people want us to add like balloons, real balloons or sparklers, or they just want more customization, they want it to be faster, then the price goes up. But minimum, minimum will be $5. Now, if I don't enjoy this, if we don't enjoy this, we're going to have a hard time doing this over and over for $5 because you're going to think in your mind, $5, it's actually $4 after Fiverr takes their cut. It's such a small amount. Is this even worth it? And you know, you'll do poor work and you'll do poor effort when you're delivering the gig. But you see, even though it is $4 revenue that we get, I feel really good when we do these happy birthday gigs because, first of all, it's quite an honor that someone would even pay any amount of money to give us as a gift. I'm in one of the happy birthday videos where we do this like four window thing and it's like, it's a, it's a little bit of a funny video and it's pretty cool to know that people will actually pay money 
to wish someone else that they care about, that they know, a happy birthday. So every time we deliver a happy birthday gig, I always feel really good and I don't care about the money, you know, it's not the main focus. Obviously, it's a nice, you know, added cherry on top, but it's not like, it's not like, oh, we only got four dollars for this and we put X amount of time into it. If you don't enjoy it, that's what you're gonna think about. You're gonna think like, I spent so and so time, but I only got four dollars, this isn't worth it, and then you won't go the long term, you won't go the distance. So with the happy birthday gigs, we've done like hundreds of these, hundreds and hundreds of them, and we enjoy them every single time, especially when people give us their picture and their messages. It's just a heartwarming feeling to know that we're going to be able to brighten someone's day when we deliver this gig because it's being sent from someone that bought it to, to make someone's day. So that's an example of creating a gig that you enjoy doing and not really paying so much attention about the, the dollar amount that you're going to get. Tip number two is to respond and deliver quickly. So you need to respond quickly when you get inquiries and messages. So sometimes you'll get people before they want to purchase, they want to make sure that it's the right thing for them and they'll message you beforehand saying, hey, um, is, it, is this what you're doing? This is what I want. And they'll just confirm things before they purchase. If you take days to respond, that's not going to make you look very good. You want to show that you're prompt, you're professional, you're on time. Treat this as a real business. So whenever we get an inquiry, and another handy thing to have is the Fiverr app. So I don't know if you guys can see that on my phone. It's like a green thing with a Fiverr on it. Um, when you download that app and you connect it, Basically, you have access to all of your messages on the go, so you don't always need to be on your computer when you're responding. You can actually just respond to the inquiries on your phone, and you can actually um, create custom offers or create a, a gig offer right from your phone. And the second part to that was delivering quickly. So always delivering within your time frame that you set your gig at. So when you create your gigs, you can choose how long it's going to take for you to deliver. So the um, fastest we have is like, without paying extra, the, the fastest is like a two day turnaround and there's three days. We don't go past the two or three day period. If they wanna pay extra, they can get it in 24 hours, but we don't go past the three day unless it's like a really big project that we have agreed upon with the customer. So the thing with Fiverr is that when the customer pays, you're on a timer. You're literally on a timer. If you go to the order page, there's a countdown timer that starts when they submit the information to you. You don't want it to go past late because then that messes up your little algorithm in Fiverr. Then Fiverr sees that you're late. If you're late all the time, they don't really want to promote you as much or put as many eyes on your gigs if you're always going to go over the time limit. One, it doesn't make you look any professional. And two, people aren't going to want to work with you if you're always going to deliver late. If you can deliver way ahead of time, I would suggest doing that because it makes you look really good in front of the customer. So let's say, you know, I happen to be on the computer and I get an order for something that's really fast. I'll deliver it maybe within the hour or within a couple of hours. And their response is usually like, whoa, crazy, that was so fast. And they give me five stars. We get a review and the customer is happy and potentially a repeat customer. So make sure to respond and deliver quickly. All right, so number three is giving good customer service. So good customer service goes a long way. So when someone messages you, you want to make sure to do proper communication. You know, despite how they message you, you want to seem professional and look like you have it all together and that you're going to deliver a great product. Because if you respond with, you know, let's say really poor grammar or you're, you don't even uh, put proper punctuation and just the, the whole structure of your message is completely off, a lot of people will look into that and 
directly correlate that with your product. So whenever we respond, we do it in uh, you know, a nice legible format, um, addressing them properly by name if they if they leave their name, if they're like, hey, I was just inquiring about this, uh, let me know if you can do this, thanks, Mike. We'll respond with, hi, Mike, it's Jewel here. Yes, we can do this service for you. It, it costs this much. This is what we'll need from you. Please let us know if you'd like to go ahead with the order. We can get started uh, right away as soon as we have all the information. You know, instead of like, let's say Mike goes, hey, it, uh, it's Mike. Um, can you do the blah, 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 this for me? And then you go, uh, yes, we can. Like, you see the differences between those two responses? And I, we are buyers on Fiverr, and when we get responses like that, very minimal one word, it just says a lot about uh, them as a uh, seller and their product. So it really goes a long way when you can communicate and provide good customer service. Go the extra mile, go the extra step, you will get a lot of repeat customers on Fiverr when you do this. Four. You want to get as many reviews as you can, especially in the beginning. And I'm going to let you guys know the line that we always type in uh, whenever we are delivering a an, an order. So whenever we're delivering an order, let's say a, a birthday or something, a birthday gig, I'll say something like, uh, Hi Mike, attached is your happy birthday video to your mom. If you enjoy our work, this is the line by the way, if you enjoy our work, please let us know by leaving a review. We would really appreciate it. And then I put like, cheers, Jewel. And then at the end of that line, I'll have it on the screen, I put like a smiley face. So it cues them when they get that, that if they enjoy it, they're gonna give a review. And this line works really well. We get reviews almost all the time not we're, we don't have a perfect record but we get a lot of reviews more so than other sellers who don't get very much reviews at all now mind you you also have to provide really good work so don't think that you can put that line in and then uh, get a really good review if you didn't provide a good product so especially in the beginning always be hustling to get those reviews even now I, I don't know how many reviews we have now probably hundreds or something like that but I still always want that review because you know when you put that review it has the the date on it and it makes it the most relevant so when someone goes on your gig and they're like review uh, two hours ago or one day ago then they know that you're active and that someone just recently purchased and someone recently had a good experience and they connect that with themselves thinking, hey, you know what? I'm bound to have a good experience too. Five, you want to offer gig extras and custom orders. So gig extras are things that you can add on to the gig, the basic gig, to like beef it up and people can pay a minimum of extra five dollars or it can go up as high as 20 or more so I'll give you an example with the birthday gig again that basic gig is five dollars if you want it within 24 hours it's another five dollars if you want real balloons and sparklers in the video then that's an extra ten dollars and if you want a custom message um, longer than um, what we say in the basic gig, that's another $5. By offering those gig extras, you have the potential to make more money and it gives the customer more of a chance to customize the gig because sometimes there are people who, who money is not an object and they, they just want like the best one. So a lot of the times we have people who are paying like $25 to $30 for the full premium happy birthday Fiverr gig that we offer. You know, I really love doing those ones because those ones, those are like a lot more than, than the basic gig. Another thing to note, the fast gig delivery, if you can't fulfill that, don't offer that. So don't offer any gig extras that you can't fulfill properly. So if you 
think that you can't deliver within 24 hours because you have like a full-time job or multiple jobs or whatever, don't offer the 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 24 hour delivery because if you offer that and you don't deliver and you go late then you could potentially be getting bad reviews and then Fiverr could take away that option from you because you can't actually offer that so it can backfire on you if you don't deliver on them and also offering custom orders so with the birthday gig there's that base order and then in the um the gig extras there is a custom order. So if someone wants Arit to write a custom happy birthday song different from what we offer, we can do that too. All right, so number six is to have an eye-catching promo video. So Fiverr allows you to put a promo video for your gig. Now you don't have to, you can just have a thumbnail but I would highly, highly suggest that you put a video because it's going to make you stand out more and Fiverr favors those gigs that have video on them. They actually boost their analytics more so than ones that don't have video. And when you do a video, when you do a promo video for your gig, I believe it needs to be less than one minute long and you basically just explain your gig, I would suggest that you are in your video because when people see you, it makes them feel more comfortable buying, that they won't get ripped off or scammed or anything like that, and that it just makes the, the buying experience a lot easier. So give you an example, Arit, she created some really great promo videos for some gigs that she offers in our Fiverr account and I will link to those gigs down below. She does a really great job promoting the gig that a lot of the times this gig will not get a minimum $5 order. It will start off at a $45 to $50 order. So you guys can check that in the description down below. All right, so the last tip that I have for you guys after doing all six of those tips is to pay attention to your gig analytics. So your analytics show you how many times your gig was viewed, how many times it was clicked after being viewed, and how many times it was ordered after being clicked. Now, some things that you want to pay attention to are if you're getting a lot of views, a lot of eyes, and a lot of clicks, and zero orders, that means you need to change something because okay, you know, it's eye-catching, people are clicking on it, but there's something going wrong in the description or, you know, the examples that you have because it's not converting. And, you know, when we had the birthday gig, that gig is one of our longest Fiverr gigs that we've had up. And, you know, before we had an older camera that was a little bit more pixelated if you were to use it now. And, you know, our promo video was old. So this gig was getting eyes, it was getting the clicks, but very minimal orders. And so, you know, I brought this up to Arit's attention. I said, we need to create a new promo video. So we created a new promo video, you know, with our new camera, it was like HD, the sound and picture quality are much better. Uh, we're much better at speaking, communicating, the description was way better. We basically just revamped the entire gig still the same gig, but updated it. And almost instantly when we updated it, we started to get way more orders. And now that gig continually gets orders, you know, week after week, month after month, because we decided to look at our analytics and see what was going wrong and fix it. So that is it guys, that is the seven tips. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to make money on Fiverr. As I said, if you'd like to check out our gigs and see what we're doing and check out the promo videos in the descriptions, feel free to head down to the description below. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let us know by giving us a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead